Hi, so I recently put in a video about donate or pay to view. Uh, and the reason for that really was um, a lot of people have written to me actually wanting to donate. And I think that's really kind because put, obviously I put a lot of effort and money into these videos and uh, donations would be a great help. But it raised an awful lot of really interesting points. And if you haven't seen the video, you probably should go and have a look at it. But particularly pay attention to the comments because some of the comments are just brilliant. Now, it's only been up a few days, but the leaning is towards donate, and I think that's really cool. However, there was one really interesting comment that had come up from a guy called Joseph Richardson. He'd posted something, and his proposal was to um, take a questions from people. So if somebody wanted a, an academic paper going through, so they had a particular academic paper or a particular question in mind, and they wanted to go through the materials and methods, uh, the doability of it and a discussion of that particular paper or that particular problem, then why don't I do that? And I thought, well, actually, you know, that's really kind of cool, that's really good, why not? Now, Google run a very similar service, actually. They call it their specialist speaker service. And they wrote to me about six months ago to ask me if I wanted to join it. It's a subscription-based service, so I declined. Now, I very frequently do videos uh, that people have actually asked me questions about. So I thought, well, OK, I'm doing that anyway. There's no real difference between what I'm already doing and formalising that, but making it more of an open offer to anybody. So if anybody has got a particular question that they want a video done on, or a particular paper that they want me to go through, then I'm quite happy to do that. There's no copyright issues, obviously, because um, the work is derived on the paper and not actually the paper itself. So you won't get the paper held up to the screen so you can read it, but we will do uh, work derived from that paper and look at that paper and discuss that paper. So it's derivative being one thing. The other thing is purely educational. So there's no copyright because things can be used in education without copyright. Mm, as long as it's directed specifically at education and specifically at people to educate them, then there's not really a copyright issue. So copyright wouldn't come into it. But a lot of the time you're prevented from doing this because these things are behind a paywall. Academic papers are not cheap. And they run to about $50 per paper unless you have a subscription. Now obviously I have subscriptions to half a dozen of these things so I can pretty much get hold of any academic paper at all. So if you have a question in mind based on a paper, then you can contact me and ask me to do a video on it where I will discuss the paper, discuss the doability of it, discuss the methodology and go through some of the information and uh, techniques in that paper and make some kind of assessment on the doability for the um, average inventor. And that's the kind of offer that I'm thinking about. Now, you can contact me either by dropping a comment into this video or you can write to me on my email, and my email is robertmurraysmith64 at gmail.com. And I'll, I'll put that in the description there, so that if you want to write a request to me, pop it in the description, and I'll quite happily have a look at that and give it a go. Now, I get lots and lots of requests, so if I don't get to your request the very next day, don't be disappointed. It will go on the list and I will get round to it. And I was thinking about linking that to the donation scheme. I'm clearly leaning towards donations, incidentally, guys. So if I do that for you, then it would be nice if, depending on the quality of the video that had been done, you would then go to uh, my page and make a donation based on what you felt. Now, a lot of people um, ask the same questions, and there's no real surprise there. People think very often about the same problems, and so they ask very similar questions. So these videos would be open to everybody. Unlike the Google service where you have to pay and you only get that and nobody else sees it, on this one it would be up on the channel and it would be kind of like a video journal. Uh, and that's what Joseph was suggesting we called it. And I think it's really cool. In fact, I, I think he's, he only made the suggestion uh, yesterday, this morning. I think it's such a cool suggestion I want to take it up. Um, it would be like a, a video journal where these answers and this going through these papers would be posted then and available to everybody so that anybody had a similar question all they really needed to do was watch the video on that topic so that's my plan and if you want to take that up then feel free to write to me or drop me a comment and i'll put it on the list to do 
So I hope that was of interest to you and thank you very much for watching.